Hello there, I'm going to show you how to make this passport cover. It will help prevent any dirt on your passport. You could always put your name on the passport or the name of your family members. Please subscribe to my channel. I have over 500 sewing and quilting tutorials. Like, comment and subscribe and let's see how to make this passport cover. This is my homepage for my Cricut and this is how you find me. My name is Cassie Cartmel. The project for this video is called Sew a Passport Cover and I'm not paid nor sponsored on any part of this um, tutorial, by the way. But I just get that in there. And also it tells you you need fabric, medium weight fusible stabilizer for both the um, main body as well as the pocket I'll go through that in a second and also buy some double folded extra wide bias tape because it's going to go around a curve here and also some medium weight stabilizer so I'm going to click on to make it first thing that comes up is your vinyl cut this needs to be mirrored so make sure that you mirror it so you cannot read it like looking like this so basically you go to continue then it's going to connect to your Cricut Maker. Make sure your Maker is turned on, otherwise it will not show up the rest of this project. Now it's going to come to a screen and it's going to ask you to set your base material. I have all these set as a bookmark. In order to get to iron on here, you will click on to browse all materials and you will find iron on there. You can select through categories or you can search. So I have everyday iron on, I'm going to do more and then I can go ahead and cut. So let's talk about the next cut after the vinyl. So it'll be this curved one. We don't have to mirror it. We have two curved sections. One is for the main body and one is for the main body on the external. So it's external and internal. One of these does need to be stabilized. So let's say this one's going to be the stabilized one. We will go over to fabric bonded. We will click more. And I always change this. I don't like how it drags on the, um, the fabric. So I always choose rotary blade. So we change that to rotary blade and we can go ahead and print. Now for the next cut, which is this one, we will go ahead and change this now to fabric cotton, because it's not bonded. Make more, make sure your rotary cutter is selected and go ahead and cut. And now we'll do this the same for the straight edge pieces these are the inside pocket pieces one of them needs to be stabilized let's say this one is stabilized so we'll go on here again and we will change our fabric setting to the bonded setting change this to more and make sure that this is set to the rotary cutter and then when you come to do your other one that isn't bonded this one we will go over to settings change that to fabric, do more and make sure it's set to the rotary cutter. So make sure that all the fabric pieces are set to the rotary cutter. Make sure that this one is set to your fine point blade. Make sure that your vinyl is mirrored. So you go here, edit and click on mirrored. You don't want to be able to read it on this side. You can only read it when you stick it to the part of the fabric. So let's go on and let's learn how to sew this passport cover. So here we have everything cut. We have the vinyl section. We have the two pieces of fabric, one with the curved edge and the other one with the straight edge. And one of my straight edge sections has the medium weight fusible stabilizer and the other with the curved edge has a medium weight stabiliser. I chose to stick these for, to the ones, this is the external or the internal of my main body. And then this is the external of my internal. Take the ones that have the straight edge. We're gonna cut 
this in half. Just take one of them and fold it in half like so and then you have a half section open it out and then cut along the line. Do the same with the other straight edge piece. Take this over to your sewing machine and you are going to stitch straight lines going down in order to stitch these two sections together both on this straight edge piece and also on this straight edge piece. You're going to take the main body that has the curve and you're going to put that wrong sides together and you are going to stitch lines holding the two into place. Decide which side you want to be your external and which side you want to be your internal. This is my internal, so I am going to fold this in half and I'm going to find the centre of the passport pouch and I'm going to do a crease all the way down. And now I'm going to line up my vinyl piece to my passport and I am going to adhere this on now you can make sure it's centered or you can eyeball it it's totally up to you i'm going to go ahead and press this onto the fabric i am not paid nor sponsored throughout any part of this video i'm going to use my cricut press and i am going to dear this vinyl to the passport pouch I have to wait for that to completely cool down before I take off this plastic cover from that center crease the inside pocket is going to be one inch and a quarter away so we're going to fold we're going to turn this over and we're going to cut away the excess of either side take the bias tape and I like to use double folded extra wide I find it easier to use we're going to take the pocket back off and we're going to bind this portion here. Don't be scared, this is really, really easy. Cut this off and then measure the other side. Cut this off. Open the bias all the way up and then you're going to rest that onto the edge and just clip with wonder clips using this crease you're going to sew all the way along once it's complete cut away your excess and then do the same to the other pocket Now I don't want the pocket moving about on me while I'm trying to put the binding on. So I am going to baste the two pockets down and I'm going to do it a scant quarter. Don't do it a quarter of an inch because you don't want it to go over the next part of the sewing. Just do it a scant quarter, about an eighth of an inch. The pockets are now basted into place so they're not going to move on us. It doesn't matter if you missed a bit. We are now going to put binding around the whole thing. So basically you're going to... Clip it all the way around. You're going to open it out that way. So you're going to open it out and you're going to start clipping all that. I'm going to have my join me up on one of the side sections. When you meet the other side, you're going to fold it over because you want to hide the raw edge. So this side is folded over and then you're going to overlap the other end a bit and cut that off and then you will go ahead and fold that over too and clip that into place so it overlaps the two. Cut 
go back over to the sewing machine and sew this into place exactly like we just did before. Take your time to ease the binding in at the corners. It will fold over. I'll just show you here. And it'll go one way easier than the other way. So make sure you've clipped it all into place and then sew down. And then you can go ahead and put your passport into its cover. You'll just have to bend it back just slightly just to pop it in there. And there you go. One passport with a cover. Hope you've enjoyed this sewing tutorial. I have over 500 sewing and quilting tutorials on my channel. Subscribe, like and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.